you can draw this in procreate it's time for another you can draw this video and after drawing lips and an eye this time we'll be drawing a nose and the fact that i sound a bit nasal that's just a coincidence i have a slight cold just like with the lips and the eye tutorial i will try to keep it as simple as possible and we'll only be using the brushes that are already in the app so do be sure to watch the video all the way till the end and share your work on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me in the image because that way I will be able to find it and perhaps we'll be seeing your work in the next You Can Draw This video. Now that would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's get started. First of all, our canvas is 2500 by 2500 pixels. And just like we did with the eye, let's fill our canvas with a light gray color first. So you can go to the layers menu and just click your background color and then select a light gray, just something like this. You can go to the classic tab in your color menu and just make sure that your color here is all the way to the left. So it's completely desaturated and then just go for something around here, a very light gray. And then we'll go to layer one, grab a pen, a brush. We'll go to the sketching brushes and use the 6B pencil. And I will grab a darker color. So go to classic again. And we'll slide to the left to around here for a very dark gray. So just like last time, I won't be sharing a color palette since we won't really be using color, just grayscale. But what you can do is go to the description, click the link and download my working file. What's a working file you might ask? Well, a working file, that's just my file, which I'm working in right now. So if you download it, you can check my layers, have a closer look on my artwork, zoom all the way in and just do with it whatever you want. A nose can be broken down in simple shapes, in circles. Let's start creating those circles. Let me check the brush size first, perhaps 40%. Yeah, 40% is a great size. First, we will make a circle. So just draw a circle, hold your pen in place and tap one finger on your screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. You can click edit shape here at the top and move it around a bit. Let's go for around center. And you can also go to the arrow in case you want to make it bigger or smaller. Just go to uniform and you can drag the handle to make it a bit smaller, for instance, or bigger, whatever you want. Next, we'll make more circles for our nose. We'll go to the layer menu and create a new layer for that. So click the plus and we'll make a smaller circle on one side of our bigger circle. So draw a circle, hold your pen in place and tap one finger on your screen. And you can go to edit shape again to move it around and place it around here. I want to make it a little bit bigger so you can go to the arrow. I'll turn off magnetics because otherwise you, well, it will snap to certain sizes and I want to be able to move it around fluidly. And I'll go for something like this. And I want to duplicate this circle and put it on the left side. And the way you can do that is by dragging down with three fingers and use copy and paste. And then turn back on magnetics. And that way you can move it to the left in a straight line. And click the arrow again to get out of that menu. And here we have the basic shape of a nose. We can merge these layers. You can just pinch them together like that. And now we will make a new layer on top of this one to start drawing our nose. So click the plus and let's turn down the opacity of these circles a little bit. You can click the N and use this slider 
and drag it to the left to make it a bit lighter. We will still be using that 6B pencil. And now we are going to draw in the nostrils and the nostrils. Mostly we'll just be drawing the nostrils here and we will be using these circles as our guide. The bottom part of this bigger circle, that's the bottom of the nose. And the outside of these smaller circles, those are the outsides of the nostrils. So we can follow that shape. We'll make a little curve here at the bottom. And then you can just follow that small circle all the way to the top and then let go of that circle and make a little curve upwards. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's start here a little bit lower and then follow that curve of that small circle all the way to the top and then let go. And I will start following that bottom part of that big circle we'll go up here and just around here we'll let go of that circle and make a curve this way and we'll do the same thing on the other side so follow that big circle and then around here let go of that curve and go towards the outside And ta-da, it already is starting to look like a real nose. And you can really play around with the shapes. Well, don't turn these into triangles, but you can vary the sizes of the circles. And you can play around with these curves. You can make this a little bit thicker. This is where that, well, the nose hole is. You can make that a little bit bigger. Don't make it too big. So you can make that big circle a bit smaller, for instance, and those smaller circles a bit bigger, playing around with the overall shape and size of your nose, well, of your nose drawing. So here we got those holes, making them a little bit more prominent. And now we really have our true base for our nose. And we are ready to get started defining our nose even more. For this next part, let's create a new layer again. That way we are in full control. You can always change things later. So let's click the plus to make a new layer on top of these. And now I would like to grab a different brush. We'll go to the charcoals and use the carbon stick. This is a nice brush to add shadow parts, lighter parts. It's a well, you can make it bigger and get these softer transitions that you can get with the 6B pencil, which is ideal for sketching. I have the brush size set to 5% and the opacity of the brush is set to 80%. And first thing I'd like to do is focus on the areas of shadow on the nose. Now, usually the light is coming from above and you will see a shadow underneath the nose. This is the tip of the nose and it'll have a slight shadow as well as a, well, that area below the nose that will be in shadow as well. So we'll go over the tip of the nose following that curve, adding a shadow there. And here just below those nostrils, you will see shadow as well. I would like to make the brush a little bit smaller. I'll go to 3% just to get a little bit more control here. So here under those nostrils, you'll also see some shadow. So let's just go over that area, making that darker. And we're still using that same shade of gray that we used for our sketch. Let's go over this area as well. So like I said, that light is coming from above here and those nostrils, they will cast a shadow here. And this area of the nostrils is also slightly in shadow. We can make that area a little bit darker here. And I'm varying the pressure that I'm using on my pen. 
When drawing stuff like this, realistic stuff, I'd really advise to get an Apple Pencil because the pressure sensitivity, like you can press hard and you'll, your brush stroke will be darker. That's super handy when creating something like this. I, I really couldn't live without pressure sensitivity. Let's darken this area a bit as well. I like this big circle. You can imagine a smaller circle inside of it where light is hitting. And you can go around that circle, adding some more shadow. Let's make the brush a bit bigger for that. I'll go to 6% and I'll make rounded motions around that tip of the nose. Giving it more volume. It's like a, a ball with a shadow underneath it. So just follow that curve. Let's darken this nostril a bit as well. And you can use that circle that you created in the beginning. You can use that as your guide. So I'm just following that. Yeah, like a ball. And this is also where you can decide how round your nose is, how, yeah, how round it is. You can darken these sides a bit to make it more pointy. You can add some shadow going up here. And I'd really advise to grab reference or grab a mirror, look at your own nose and use that as your guide. And right here, I'm using very, very little pressure. And once you feel like you got that basic shape of your nose down, you can start either decreasing the opacity of those circles or you can turn it off completely. Now, I really want to darken the shadow here on the outside a little bit. I'm going to make the brush a bit smaller again, 3%. Go along the outside here, softening that up a little bit. So just follow the line that I've already created. I'm darkening this little shadow underneath that tip of the nose a bit. And I'd really advise to use either low opacity or very little pressure on your pen to slowly build up those values in your drawing. You don't have to make everything really dark or very light straight away. You can just slowly build that up. I'm just softening this edge a little bit. This one as well. And if you feel like some transitions are a bit too harsh, you can always just grab a local color, make your brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 7% and you can go over these areas and kind of blend the values together like that. Or if you feel like this area is a little bit too dark, you can always grab that background color, go over and make it a bit lighter. So picking up local colors like this, that's a different way of blending than using the smudge tool. But it also, yeah, it's it's a different way to blend. But it gives some nice results without looking too smeary. You, you still have that nice texture of the brush, of that charcoal. Now that we have added our shadows, let's create a new layer and add some lights. I'll click the plus for a new layer. Let me grab the background color. 
and then grab a lighter gray. So I'll just drag to the right a little bit. And I want to lighten the nostrils up a little bit. I'll go to 5% for the brush size. And some light will hit on the top of those nostrils. So I'll just go over them slightly. And the top of the nose will get some light. Let's make a little highlight there. In the center of that circle that we created earlier. I'll make the brush even smaller. Let's go for 2%. And I want to add a little bit of reflected light here at the nostril, at that top. Some light that is coming from the top will reflect on the upper lip, for instance, bounce off and light that underside of the nose a little bit. So I'll just go over the edge. Also add a little bit of light to these nostrils. And some here. But really look at reference images, look at your own nose to check where you can see the dark areas and where you can see the light hitting the nose. And then finally, you can work on some final details. We can go back to the 6B pencil and grab a very dark gray or almost black. And you can refine the nostrils, well, well the holes a little bit more, for instance. Work on the darkest areas. Just to give it a little bit more contrast. But it's a good idea to really slowly build up your values. Slowly work from low contrast to high contrast. And that means that in the beginning you will have shadows that are not super dark and highlights that are not super light. And in the end of your process you'll work towards those darker shadows and brighter highlights. You can also darken this, this little shadow here a little bit more, defining that tip of the nose. And these little shadows underneath the nostrils here. And of course you can also add little freckles, for instance. You can add all these small touches to your nose drawing. But this is a super basic way to draw a nose. There are many techniques out there that can help you draw noses. This is just one of them. I hope you enjoyed following the tutorial. Just be sure to do this multiple times, draw multiple noses so you can really get the hang of this. Enjoy drawing noses and be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Always feel free to come up with suggestions of videos that you would like to see. If you haven't watched my other You Can Draw This videos, then go ahead and watch those or just get started with these two over here. I'll see you next time.